Good morning, boys and girls. Your science lesson today is going to be about worms in the soil and what they eat and how they make new soil and things like that and parts of a worm. So after you listen to this video and listen to the reading I'm about to give you, there is a paper to fill out. I will give you today and tomorrow to finish this because it's a lot of little questions with drawings and words. So you can take two days. Okay, I know it says today's date at the top, but it can take you two days to finish this. So you can watch the video more than once to help you answer the questions on this page. Investigation 3.3 .3 about worms in soil. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt my camera down so I can read this information to you. And then you can watch this video as many times as you need to to answer the questions, okay? So here we go. I'll try my best to make it so you can see it well. Worms in soil. Worms are animals. Where do you find worms? These worms live in soil. They get water and food from the soil. So if you're even a little bit confused right now as to what soil is, if you look here at the picture, soil is kind of like dirt. <clears throat> worms need air, space, and shelter too. They get what they need from the soil. So everything they need to live, they can get it right in the soil. Some worms live in compost piles. Can you see the worms on the plants and soil? What are they doing? Looks like they're crawling around, digging, maybe eating, who knows? Worms eat dead leaves and fruit. They turn the old plant parts into soil. The new soil helps young plants grow. So by eating the dead leaves and the fruit, and then they have to go to the bathroom, right? That makes the new soil. That's what they use. They use the old plant parts by eating it, and then that makes new soil when they go to the bathroom. Kind of gross, right? Some worms burrow deep in the soil and others stay near the top. Damp leaves lie on the top of the soil. Worms stay moist under the leaves. They also find food there. Worms have segments. Segments help the worm move. If you look very carefully, and I bet you if you've ever eaten a gummy worm, right? They have these little tiny lines in them. They're almost like little grooves or bumps. And those are the segments of a worm. A segment is kind of like a section or a little piece of a worm. So if you look really close and you can see that, and you can see it even on a gummy worm, okay? that those little lines or bumps, those are the sections of a worm and they're the segments or the pieces that help him move. There's lots of them. Adult earth, I'm sorry, adult earthworms have a clitellum. The clitellum makes a case for worm eggs. For, yeah, baby worms grow inside of the eggs. A worm's skin is moist and smooth. Worms breathe through their moist skin. That's interesting. We breathe through our mouth and our nose and they breathe through their skin. Hmm. Some worms live on land. Some worms live in fresh water or salt water. Hmm. How are these worms the same and how are they different? So take a second and look at those pictures and what do you notice how are some of them the same and some of them different? They all kind of have the same shape, right? They're long and stringy and skinny, but it looks like they're all different colors. Maybe one's fatter than the other. They live in different places. So what you're going to do is take that information that you just learned about and you're going to answer the questions on this paper. The questions say, where do worms live? Where, what do worms eat? What is a segment? And draw a worm and label a segment. 
And what do, how do worms make soil? Hmm. All right, so do your very best. You have two days to finish this, okay? This can be done by Thursday afternoon. All right, my darlings, I will see you soon. Bye.